Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this Pegasus emoji um, inspired by the Disney As Told um, By You emoji videos, um, sorry, As Told By Emoji videos and Emoji Blitz game. So I started out with a circle and I'm pretty sure I made this stroke 10 points. Um, this is on, I'm pretty sure, either a 10 inch by 10 inch canvas or a 1024 by 1024 pixels. Um, and then I'm, I'm just basically using the pen tool to draw out different shapes. Um, and I use colors plucked from the guide image that I have next to it. And I use the smooth tool to smooth out all the different edges as well as the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, um, to finick with the little points um, to get the shape really perfect. So I just switch back and forth between direct selection and smooth tool to get the shape right. Um, and then use obviously the black arrow, um, I guess it's the move or selection tool just to adjust where things are placed. Um, for the eyes I'm doing a little bit of an ombre effect to mimic the way that the emojis are designed. Um, I studied a lot of the emojis and the different characters to try to mimic kind of how they did it. Um, to add my own spin, I put the little white irises, um, is that what it's called? I guess, <laughs> the white reflection of the eyes into their little eyeballs to give them a little bit more character and light. Um, here I'm playing with the muzzle and the nostrils of Pegasus. And then we're doing the eyebrows. And so for tricky things like eyebrows and shapes like that it's really e much easier to just copy and paste and then reflect it instead of trying to draw the same shape twice because that would be pretty difficult. Um, I had that problem here with the muzzle to try to make it symmetrical as well and so now I'm adding in highlights by um, if you go to uh, I'm pretty sure path, and then you do like an offset path, and then you do a negative number. I did, I think, negative 10 or 15 to create a duplicate of the shape, but make it a little smaller, and then I made that shape um, into just a um, semi-transparent gradient with um, like a white blending into the darker color to give it a kind of highlighted effect. Um, and so... Now I'm just kind of playing around with the scale and the shape. It's a little hard to do animals, um, especially Pegasus, because they aren't, you know, their their faces are not just like round like humans are. Um, they kind of have, you know, like muzzles and ears and they're more long. They have like fancy details like a mane, and so it's kind of hard to capture all that. Um, and I lightened his eyes up a little bit, and then I'm trying to add some highlight to his face, but it's difficult because I do it through using transparency, um, the opacity tool, and since it's a gradient, it's hard to really match it up since these are two separate shapes um, with a muzzle. So as you can see, I'm trying to match the color so that they'll blend seamlessly, um, and you can like pretend that it's one big kind of like uh, keyhole, kind of like a, a fat keyhole shaped um, item instead of a circle and then like a half circle. Here I'm adding some shadows to his ears and so for the shadow I like to do just a black um, and then make that a little bit opaque. So then you can use it to cover like the lines and the um, area that you shoot it in, and then it'll create just a darkened effect to the whole thing. Um, so it creates kind of a real, more realistic looking shadow. Now, I'm, I've made a few other emojis. Um, I can show them to you. They're all on my Instagram, um, Sparkling Light X um, on Instagram. So I've liked those better, and those were all human ones. Pegasus is probably the least favorite one I've done so far. But um, definitely let me know if you want to see me try to do other characters. Um, I think I did a Hercules one as well that will be coming out soon. 
Um, but if you want to see any other characters, I can take a swing in it and kind of show you guys if you want me to go a little slower or do like a, a live stream, anything like that. Just let me know um, what type of thing you got, things you guys want to see on Illustrator or with Disney art and emojis like that. And I'll be sure to do a video on it. So yeah, I'm just playing with shadows and this is the finished product. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe and like and comment down below. Thank you.